Today I'm going to show you how to fill your vulture with scrap, just like I've got here. This haul is worth an easy 100k. Let's get started. So, I am going to grab a mission from my Moby Glass. Three hundred I for only five thousand AUEC. This is just a snack to start. It will only get us about one to two SCUs, depending on how much we scrap off of it. Speaking of grabbing a snack, check out our sponsor, Snaggle Stick. Snag one of these premium protein sticks and experience the ultimate in real meat snack. Now, back to the salvaging. When running the salvager, I keep the beams together and use gimbaled mode with a mouse. It's easier for me than using a joystick, but that's just personal preference. Make sure you get that salvage bar all the way completed, then you'll unlock larger ships. I also use a braid which has a larger surface area of 3.5 meters. The benefit of the cinch is efficiency. It's always a balance between time and efficiency. Make sure you have a multi-tool and tractor beam attachment. These are critical- Whoa! Well, that's not a problem. The Vulture Salvage Processor is capable of printing us out a new one. You can stack up to two SEUs in the processor before you need to come clear the jam. Now that we have all the scrap on grid, we can see if there's any guns we can pull off for a few extra credits. Make sure you are taking account of space. You only have so much, and some things take up more space than they are worth. Make sure you check the cargo bay on the ship you're scrapping. You never know what you're going to find. Yes! Cruise! Now we just have to head back to cell. I'm going to head down to the Area 18 Trade and Development Division to sell my cargo. Now you know how to get started in salvaging. Stay safe out there in the verse, fellow salvagers. <laughs>